Hey guys, this is Murph from the Prospect Studios. Here's the other video I said I would make today, and basically it's a challenge video. And what challenge videos are is that in the Kerbal Space Program forums, there's a challenge thread, and you can go there and you could like post shit, like challenges. Uh, what happened? That's not supposed to happen. What? Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. I see what happened. Anyway, one of the challenges is getting a satellite in orbit at any given altitude. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, yeah. You see this modded orange thruster? I mean, fuel tank. It's too heavy. And uh, this big rocket can only take so much weight. Um, so, you know, that's 750. And what, what's the regular one's weight? 0.3. I mean, 500. So its dry mass is 0 0.3 and this is 0 0.9. So we could technically have two of these, but I bet. Well, maybe. Maybe this will work. Yeah. Crossing fingers. Yeah, it worked. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll just send this guy up. And uh, with this gigantic rocket. Well, the whole thing is technically a rocket. What I'm saying is that this. Um, Thruster, you have to be really careful because big thrusters mean there's a lot of torque, and you want to be able to control that torque. And that's why, like, I don't have anything on the sides. No, if you technically did have anything on something on the side, like a booster, it would actually work, help with control. But I mean, if you, yours is based upon the shape of an arrow, it shouldn't really matter um, as long as the top is heavier than the bottom. And innocent. Though there is a weird curvature. Now you can see it's shaking, and that's due to stress and drag. Um, and this decoupler isn't the best one you can actually find. I should have used uh, one of these, but I didn't because then the satellite would have looked that cool, I guess. Yeah. So, around. Um, 10,000 kilometers up, we're going to start lining ourselves up with the, the, uh, the 90 here, going right or left. Or, if you want to be cool, you can just make it come towards us by going north. So, um, it doesn't really matter what direction it is, as long as it is on one of the, uh, the latitudes, I believe. No, not the latitudes, I think that bad. We'll just call it the sides. Or the uh, fronts, I guess. I mean, and uh, the reason I don't want to give it any technical names is because people do get confused and that's the least we can want. I mean, the last thing. Yeah. I can't really say stuff. I love this game. Okay. So we're gonna decup from this and increase thrust at a really slow pace. So. I'm sorry! Yeah, blew up. Oops. Okay, we're still going to go to 50,000, and we're, we're just in here for us. And our speed is actually pretty low. It's supposed to be around 2,300 meters per second, according to the tutorial. Um, and the guy who made the tutorial is an astrophysicist, which is really badass. And yeah, okay, so, yep, we're dropping the payload. Uh, payload dropped. And we're slowly separating, nice. Alright, so I'm going to open the thruster and uh, get us away from the satellite, and we'll go back home. Yeah. Is 
our altitude decreasing? No. No, it's not. We gotta stabilize this thing. Okay, so we're going to that direction, right? Oh, oh yeah, something funny. One of the uh, missions in the uh, forums, I mean challenges, is that like they want you to put the moon in orbit. It's really funny. In um in locked orbit, meaning it doesn't revolve on its own. It just revolves with the Earth and stuff. It's it's a really funny mission. Okay, so uh, we'll. Yep, there it is. This is good enough. We gotta love the nuclear engines. They're so fuel efficient. Things like nuclear stuff a bit. Yeah. And now we're just increasing altitude. Now, I'm pretty sure I didn't really follow the challenge rules because it's like stay with the satellite for one orbit and then get back on Earth and stuff. Like, get back to the uh, landing pad. In this case, it'll be like a couple thousand kilometers in that direction. No, I don't know what that is. Is that a part we dropped? Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want that. Go back, go back. We can hit the ground. We're not dead at it. You want to come down at an angle. That way you won't, like, if you come down, if you come straight down, you'll lose a lot of energy and fuel. Even though, like, it doesn't matter if I waste a lot of fuel or energy at this point, since I'm already all the way down, you know, you might want to save some if you're doing a lunar landing, I mean, moon landing thing. Uh, like, if you had a different... Damn it, I can't... I really can't speak today. I mean, I spoke perfectly fine to Civilization with you. It's just... It's just space. So much space. Right. What I'm saying is, uh, if you were to have the lunar landing thing next to your command pod, I mean, as your command pod, um, it would actually, you would actually need to consider a lot more factors, other than just, you know, just shooting yourself toward the other. Nice, yeah. So we'll just open our chute and then uh, yeah. we'll just land. Oh, and if you guys have any challenges, you would like me to do like, I don't know, um, stupid stuff, I guess. Not really. Alright, we're gonna deep cup and parachute down. Hopefully, we have enough. Uh... Oh, come on! There it is. Good. Nice. I mean, I guess we could have used the uh, thermal nuclear thruster to stay in orbit and maybe do a full orbit, but I chose not to. In fact, we could have. I mean, we had plenty of fuel. In fact, yeah, we didn't even waste the whole thing. We only wasted parts of it when we were coming down. Should have done that. That would have been cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I wasn't able to talk really good. I, like... Yeah, I'm, I'm skipping words again, aren't I? Probably. That's, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it again. Skipping words. Um, yeah, so, you know. Try not to do that next time. I'll try to get less excited about a game that's in its alpha stages and looks better than any game NASA ever released. Well, more fun than any game NASA ever released. Though they do a great job, like, with uh, Moonbase Alpha. I mean... It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's the best they could have done. They get all this money, and they have all these astrophysicists that know how to computer code, like the person who made the tutorial, but they don't, which is disappointing. Hey, we're so small. <laughs> wow. It's actually pretty neat. I didn't even know you could zoom out this far. Right. I'll see you guys later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>